Hi, my name is John Fisher. I'm the CEO of TriSafety First. At TriSafety First, we develop API for cell phones. API is short for Automated Protocol Intelligence. API presets a phone's firmware so the device will operate according to official guidelines when operating within a restricted safety zone. This video demonstrates our latest API advancements, which prevents contraband cell phones from working when in the restricted areas of a prison facility. I will now take you through a short three-part demonstration. Part 1 will go over the hardware components to be installed in the prison facility. Part 2 will cover the protocol software to be included in the firmware of all phones. And Part 3 will show the actual API system features in operation. Here in Part 1, we have the TriSafety First protocol trigger device to be installed in the restricted safety zones throughout the prison facility. As we power up this device, it will broadcast the protocol signal for prisons and it can be activated in as little as 15 seconds. The device will be custom engineered to cover all operating frequencies in any given country. It is designed in a plug and play PCB format for simple software and frequency upgrades and housed in a strong rugged encasement. Here in part two, as I power on the phone, you will see the green TriSafety First API icon as the protocol software initializes. This API firmware will be signature coded and carrier flashed as a system update into all phones operating across all networks. Here in part three, I'm going to demonstrate how an actual API configured phone completely locks out all communication functions when in range of the TriSafety First protocol trigger device for prisons. As I power on the phone, it will appear to be fully operational, but it is not. In fact, not one single communication feature on this phone is functioning. To confirm this, I will go into the settings menu and attempt to activate the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth features. As you will see, the API will not allow activation. It simply auto returns back to off. Now we'll try to make a call. As I attempt to call out, the API rejects the request and activates the Guard Alert Auto Off Shutdown feature, which renders this device completely useless. Warning! This mobile device is not authorized to operate in this correctional facility. Device is shutting down. Warning! And last, we will check the SMS texting feature. As I attempt to send a text, the API will once again reject the request and activate the Guard Alert Auto Off Shutdown feature, once again rendering the device completely useless. Warning! This mobile device is not authorized to operate in this correctional facility. Device is shutting down. Warning! That concludes the demonstration on the TriSafety First Prison Protocol technology. To quickly recap, the TriSafety First Automated Protocol Intelligence presets a phone's firmware so the device will operate according to official guidelines when located inside a restricted safety zone. In addition to the prison environment, other safety zones for which TriSafety First has also invented API technology include the classroom to give the teacher override control, the courtroom to give a judge override control, the airplane to give the pilot override control, high security areas, and of course, the driver's seat to prevent texting behind the wheel. It should also be noted, in all circumstances except the prison, emergency calling is always available. Thank you for taking the time to view this presentation. For more information or for a live demonstration, please contact TriSafety First at the number listed on your screen, or visit our website.